Hello, welcome to the Allen & Heath C-Class Rack Ultra Effects Card installation video tutorial. This tutorial will cover installation for all C-Class mix racks, including the CDM32, CDM48 and CDM64. Let's get started. When you first open the box, you will find a safety and regulatory information pamphlet. Next, you'll find a QR code that will take you to the latest version of the instructions on our website. You will also find screws, wire ties, and a cable that we'll use as part of the procedure. Underneath these items, you will find the Rack Ultra Effects card itself. The tools you will need for this procedure are a T8 and T10 driver, an anti-static wrist strap, wire cutters, and the included materials. After first attaching the anti-static wrist strap to a ground point, you will need to remove T8 screws on the top, sides, and rear of the unit. Only remove the screws that are on the edges of the panels that connect to the top and rear panels. Once the screws are removed, you should be able to reach under the front lip of the top panel and gently remove it. We recommend you unplug the two-pin connector of the rear panel fan so you can set the panel aside. Now that we have the chassis exposed, we can remove the original effects engine card. We will first need to remove the center support bracket. Start by using your T10 driver to remove the screw that holds the standard effects card, then remove the screw at the bottom that connects the bracket to the bottom circuit board. There is a stiffener that connects to the IMX6 card using two T10 screws. Remove those as well. Lastly, there are two T8 screws on each side that need to be removed. After these steps have been completed, there is a connector that is zip-tied to the bracket that needs to be disconnected. You can now gently remove the bracket and let it rest on the table. With the bracket removed, you can now remove both cards that were screwed to it. Gently move them side to side and lift them from the connections on the circuit board. We can now install the Rack Ultra FX card. The card should be installed with the fan side facing the center of the mix rack and into card slot D. Once the Rack Ultra FX card is inserted, we can return the two removed cards back to their original slots. Both cards should have their screw holes facing the rear of the chassis. With all of the cards installed, we can return the support bracket back to its original position. The bracket will need to have all its screw holes align as it did originally and the stiffener panel behind the IMX6 card. This will require precise positioning and some wiggling to get the bracket to go to its correct location. After the bracket is placed in its correct position, Replace the T8 screws on its sides that we removed earlier. Then replace the T10 screw at the bottom of the stiffener bracket and the two that screw into the IMX6 card. Next, replace the T10 screw that was in the standard effects card. This is where you will need the included envelope. Inside is a T10 screw and you will need to add it to the Rack Ultra effects card the same way we did with the standard effects card. The next step is cabling. First, take the cable that is zip-tied to the bracket that we disconnected earlier and connect it to the port that is on the top non-fan side of the Rack Ultra Effects card. Make sure the latch side of the connector is facing the rear of the chassis. This may take some precision and a small amount of force. If it is necessary, you can apply pressure to the other side of the Rack Ultra Effects card to allow the connector to fully seat. The last cable required for installation is included with your Rack Ultra Effects card. Connect one side of the cable to the power supply board where we originally removed the previous cable earlier in the tutorial. It is directly above the connection we just made. Seat this cable firmly in the slot with the latch facing the closest wall of the chassis. 
insert the other side of the cable into the port on the fan side of the Rack Ultra FX card with the latch facing downward. This may require a slight twist to the cable. As before, if it is necessary, you can apply pressure to the other side of the board to allow the connector to fully seat. After the cabling is complete, align the cables to a position where they will have minimal strain and use the included wire ties to secure them in place. Finally, it is time to complete the installation. First, replace the rear fan cable connection at the same bottom rear pins where it was before. The latch for the cable should be facing the rear of the chassis. You may now remove your anti-static wristband. Next, replace the chassis cover. It will be an exact fit, so some slight shifting may be needed. Make sure it is firmly in place and flush with the rest of the panels. Lastly, replace all T8 screws on the top, sides and rear of the unit. This concludes the Allen & Heath C-Class Rack Ultra FX Card installation tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact our support team at support.allen-heath.com. Thank you for supporting Allen & Heath products.